Hi, I'm Corey. Cool, oh, come on. You wanna just talk? Uh, just you talk, you talk. Hey guys, I'm Corey, this is Steve. We're here at Track or Die today installing a Dyna chain conversion on an 06 up model. It should be the same-ish for the earlier models too, just different sizes, but you know, the general principle is the same. So, here we go. So, first, we need to remove the foot peg, which is 5 sixteenths. So now with the shifter removed, we need to take out all of these 3 16 head bolts to get the primary cover off. Now we're going to remove the compensator, which is a T70 with a breaker bar. And you need to use something, we have this laying around, to lock in between to make this come off. And then after that, we will just finish it off with an air impact, which you're gonna need for the rest of this. Now you're gonna pull the transmission nut out. It's a 30 millimeter socket, and it's reverse thread. Tighten. To remove. Yeah. Tighten. So righty loosey, lefty tighty. So for this part, you're going to want to throw a little zip tie over the top of the primary chain tensioner to hold it together, or else it's going to spring apart and you're going to have to put it back. Then we remove these two half inch bolts right here to get that out of the way. So when you go to remove the compensator, you usually just pull everything out and just start stacking it as it comes out to keep track of everything because if it doesn't go back in the same way it came out, you're going to have some issues. So we'll just take everything out and just stack it up how it would have gone. This piece can stay and then we'll go ahead and pull the clutch itself off. So now we're going to remove the inner primary. There's one, two, three, four, five half inch bolts that need to be taken off. While Steve's doing this, I'm gonna grab a quarter hex with a long extension and start breaking loose the starter from the other side. So what you're gonna to wanna to do too is take out the little dowel pins that line up the cases. There's gonna be two in the starter or one? Two. Two in the back of the starter. Also, when we pop that off, and just set those to the side and make sure those don't go missing. So now with the starter broken loose, we're gonna be ready to break this primary off. Just give her a little wiggle. Make sure the shift shaft stays in. Break the starter out. For the dowels on the primary, a lot of times, this bike's brand new, no one's ever had this apart, and there's two dowels that are missing. So if yours doesn't have them, don't be surprised. I've seen it both ways. I've seen them have two, have one, and have none. So it could go either way, just depending on who assembled your bike at the factory. Now we're ready to start taking the front pulley off. This lock plate is held on with a 3 16 head Allen. We're going to remove the front pulley. The lock plate that holds the front nut on is held on with two 3 16 head Allen bolts that you're going to want to take out. Now we're gonna remove the front pulley. This main drive nut is a two and a quarter on the six speed models. And on the five speed models, it's an inch and seven eighths. So depending on which bike you have is gonna determine which socket it is that you need. And it has to be a big, deep socket. Like this one we made here, a lot of people sell them. Um, 
and it has to fit over the top of the main shaft to be able to get it. So an average socket won't work. You're gonna have to get one from either gyms or something like that, or maybe a buddy has one to pull this off. And with the six B models, it's a standard thread. So left hand would come off lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Whereas on a five speed model, it's reverse. So that would be the same like the clutch. You're gonna tighten it to remove it, essentially. Right hand, um, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off right now. Sometimes they're a bitch. You need impacts, friends, something to get them off on occasion. Two hours later. Now we done took the front sprocket off and you can just set that and your parts to go in the trash can. Junk. Now we're gonna go ahead and jack the bike up and remove the rear wheel to go ahead and put on the rear sprocket. Union brake. Mm. Now to get the belt off, if you want to save it, you just remove the shock as we're going to do right now, or if you don't care, you can just cut it. So now, while this is up, we're just going to go ahead and throw on the front sprocket. This will come with your kit that you bought from us or whomever else, and it just slips right on, like so. Now we'll go ahead and put some red Loctite on the nut. So now we're going to go ahead and loosen the rear axle, which is a 36 millimeter. We have a little fancy tool that does it, but any socket will be just fine. So now we're going to remove the rear pulley, which is 5 8 socket. So the new kit that you purchased is going to come with new bolts, so don't worry about any of these. The kits that we provide come with grade 8, the correct length, you don't need to worry about any of that. So on this one, we're going to be putting a hard case locker as well, which we sell on our site. Um, customer requested it, you don't have to run one. The hardware will come, will come with some of its unnecessary washers if you do want to run one. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna show you how to install it with one. So use the bolts that are provided with our kit, and then you're going to use, they send you a set of washers that will go underneath. And you're still gonna to wanna to lock tight the shit out of these when you put them on there. The notorious broken bolts, you don't want that. So now you're going to want to torque these down. The torque spec is 55 to 65 foot pounds. We'll usually start on the easier end of the spectrum and then go up because sometimes you have to adjust the rotation of the bolt. So we'll continue to tighten if it needs to fit. You'll see what we're talking about. Now you take the little locks and pop these on here. In some ways they'll fit, sometimes you'll get lucky, sometimes they won't. You can flip them over, that one works go from there and then with the small washers provided in the hard case kit go ahead and toss those on here and I usually throw a little bit of Loctite on here just for good measure so we're gonna go ahead and torque the locks down to 120 inch pounds which is relatively standard for a quarter inch thread Now with the axle back on, you can snug this, but don't tighten it because you're going to have to come back to adjust the chain later. So what Steve is doing is loosening the adjusters up all the way so that we can push the tire, tire all the way forward. That way you're going to get the most adjustment out of your chain because you only have so much. So once you reach the end of your adjustment, you kind of shorten the life of your chain if you don't move it all the way forward. So this bike has 
early 13 spoke mags that we converted to work on a newer dyno. Just wanted to note that. We're gonna mark, if you look right here, we're gonna mark what link we want to take the pin out of. You're gonna have to remove a few. It's usually around three to four, depending on what you're putting it on and what gearing you're running. Um, so we're gonna just take and put a mark where we're gonna cut it. So now we're gonna go ahead and break the chain, which depending on how you do it is up to you. There's tons and tons of different ways. This is how we choose to do it. We just grind the pin out and knock it out with a punch. Um, some people use the tool. We found this to be the easiest way, but whatever you wanna to do to break it is fine. Okay, so now that we've cut the chain down to where we want it, we're gonna go ahead and put the master link on. Our chains that we use come with a rivet style. Um, it's just a little bit more safe for street use, handles the torque and horsepower a little bit better than a clip style would. Never seen a clip style one fail, but it's just a safe way to do it, you know what I mean? So with the putting the link in, you're gonna need a chain tool, just like a riveter. Um, you can get it from any local motorcycle shop that you have around you, or maybe your buddies have one really simple. So now we're going to go ahead and put the adjuster bolts back in. A little bit of Loctite on those. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and torque the front sprocket nut. Harley spec says to torque it to 100 foot-pounds to seat the sprocket and then back it off and go to 35 foot-pounds plus 45 degrees. So that's what we're gonna do. So when you're going back together, you always want to use a new O-ring on your drain plug. And also, use pipe sealant. It's called like pipe dough. So now that we are done installing it, we pulled it down off the lift. We like to adjust the chain with weight on the bike. That's where the chain is going to be running most of the time. And we set our tension to about an inch, inch and a half of the play. Um, that's that. Chain drive down. She's good to go.